guys, this is Aiden's Toy Trove. I'm here today with um, my Briar, Karina, and Celine. They are product number 90186. And this set is the uh, final release in the Briar 2017 Premier Club. They are a beautiful new sculpt by Bridget Eberl of Historical Lipids Honors. They are Appaloosas. Uh, the Appaloosa pattern was painted and um, prototyped by Kimberly Bleeker of Total Equine, um, I don't know what she calls it, Studios, but um, she is a wonderful, wonderful painter. And as you guys probably know by now, Bridget Eberl is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, sculptors. So I was so super psyched to see these. Um, I was a bit disappointed with Duende. Duende was the original reason that I joined the Premier Club. Um, and he, you know, I'm not going to complain about him, but he just, he just wasn't what I expected him to be. So when I saw Karina and Celine, I was so excited because um, they're just totally awesome. Um, so what you can see here is the uh, Briar Premier Club packaging. You already saw the, um, the, the shipping carton. Um, that Briar shipped them in and I must have ordered these with something else because there's no shipping label on that. I tend to do that um, just to give the horses a little extra protection. But this is the beautiful Premier Club box um, that is provided with all the Premier Club horses. It has the, um, the model's picture on it and then it has a little bit of, uh, I think, history or um, information about the models on the back. And I will try to remember to read that to you. Uh, after I get these on. These guys have been sitting around my house um, for a long, long time, and I keep looking at them and thinking, I want to open those, I want to open those, I totally want to open those. And we have been super busy with the, um, both the online and the retail store, and I just haven't had time. Um, so this is the Tuesday after Christmas, and I'm here at the retail store. And, and I think a lot of people are still out of town, so today is kind of my day to play catch up on opening some of these packages and getting the store um, uh, redone since uh, Christmas is over, but I'm leaving that store redoing for later. I really wanna get these guys unwrapped. So, oh, I didn't show you. Um, when you open up the box, um, there is bubble wrap that's folded around the horses. So um, if you unfold it, you can see that they are in their beautiful kind of tan suede bag. And then um, this is their certificate of authenticity. Every Premier Club model comes with a certificate of authenticity. Um, I'm not going to open it or quite yet because um, it's taped at the bottom, but there is an inside to the certificate. And then I'm going to put this over here where I hopefully won't lose it. So there are two models inside of here. Um, now, some of you might be thinking, uh, Appaloosa Lupin's Honor, that doesn't happen, but it's um, historical breed representation. There were um, quite a number of um, patterned um, Spanish horses, uh, like um, the colonial Spanish horse, the historical Lippitz Honor. There's also the tiger horse, um, who is a bit different, um, but he um, is a gated breed. Uh, but uh, I, I really, really like how Briar decided to depict a uh, historical breed. Um, that's super cool to me. Briar uh, has been picking some great breeds, in my opinion. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but for Marcus, um, the brick and mortar horse for 2017 on the Shire Mold, they, uh, they um, marked him as a black forest horse cross, which to me, I was really impressed because that is exactly what that horse looks like to me um, with his uh, silver chocolate color. So I think Briar is maybe doing a bit more research into um, their breed designations and their colors, which is really exciting to me. There has been a lot of change going on at Briar from what I have heard. A lot of people have left. Um, they saw them to new people. Um, so, uh, 2018 will be an interesting year um, because there has been so much change at Briar. Um, 
a lot of you have probably seen the teasers for the 2018 Premier Club. Um, one of my, the horses that I'm really excited about is a jumping horse that was sculpted by uh, Morgan Kilborn, who also sculpted the lovely Wolfing Cow Horse uh, mold. And he is a, what looks like a buckskin Tobiano Pinto, absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of the other ones that I could think of off the top of my head is it's, you might have seen this absolutely gorgeous um, chestnut pinto, um, which looks like a resin, and you know what? It is a resin. Um, the chestnut pinto for 2018 is a, a customized uh, artist resin on the Lone Star mold, and what Briar was doing was they were um, showing some of the paintwork that was... Uh, going to be uh, offered in the Premier Club, which was by uh, Tammy Palmerchuk. I know that I slaughtered her name, um, but uh, check it out. Uh, she does beautiful finish work, so um, I think that uh, whatever she paints will turn out beautifully. I think Briar announced that there was another mare in full set. I'm not sure. I haven't been paying attention. I know that... Uh, there isn't much time to join the Premier Club and the Stablemate Club. Um, I actually have joined none of them for 2018 yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I, I, uh, this year, I had one Stablemate Club membership and one Premier Club membership, and that was it. Um, I know that I won't be doing the Vintage Club for 2018. I've always enjoyed doing the Premier Club, but... Um, I, I haven't been keeping all of the models in it, and I think it actually might be more economical for me to just um, purchase them on the secondary market. And the uh, Stablemate Club models, as lovely as they are, they just don't seem to be holding their value uh, as much as I had hoped. But back to Karina and Celine. These are adorable. This is the full. Um, I don't know which, 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 sorry. I don't know which one is which. Karina or Celine. So she is so cute. Very expressive, very um, typical of an Eberl sculpt. Um, she just breathes such life into her horses. And this, this paint job, which was designed by Kimberly Bleeker, is knockout gorgeous. And Briar really hit it out of the park uh, with the painting on these models. It, I, I kind of wonder if they uh, really upped the quality on uh, this particular pair because of um, a lot of people being disappointed in Duende. Uh, I don't see a lot of flaws. Um, the masking is clean. I don't see any smudgies. The shading is gorgeous. The sculpt is gorgeous. Uh, so this is the full. And I'm really excited to get these home and into my photo tent. So. Um, you guys can see um, them in more detailing. Um, this is kind of just a um, unrelated note, but um, I've been having a really hard time finding gray poster board around here. I use uh, poster board um, as an endless background in my photo tent, and I haven't been able to find any gray poster board, which I think is just so silly because you would think I would be common, but I guess not. So on uh, the mayor here, the only flaw that I'm seeing so far is she's Kind of um, got a little white spot on the, the top of her tail. It's not a big deal, not something um, that I would consider sending her back for. Um, I do see on the top here of her rump, if you look at uh, right up there by the dock, there's a very faint um, spot, almost like, um, I don't know, maybe someone started to paint it and then it, it uh, was not painted but uh, you, you can see a little bit of remnant of paint right there on top of her rump. And again, that's really hard to see. Uh, we recently put in a bunch more track lighting in the store, so the lighting is much better in here than it used to be. And I'm not sure that that's really going to show um, outside of um, some really good lighting. So I love... Oh, gosh, I love the sculpt. She's beautiful. She's very expressive. She looks... Um, a lot like a historical lipids honor to me. Um, they are one of my um, favorite breeds to show. 
uh, with my models. I, I collect custom horses and um, I have some pictures of these um, colored Spanish horses and to me um, the, this pair is just dead on. Um, it should be interesting to see these guys in the show ring. I think that they will do very well. I really have kind of run out of things to say. Uh, this is my second video today, so I've been like chattering away and um, kind of at a loss for words. I'm running out of steam, but uh, I think you guys just want to see the horses, so I'll uh, keep showing you the horses and then um, hopefully I'll get some pictures done of them and you guys can see the pictures because I know even though that we have a lot of improved lighting in here it doesn't necessarily pick up the detailing um, on these horses and I'm doing this with my phone um, which doesn't do the greatest job of focusing and it also isn't as high quality as um, the camera so uh, from what I can see, uh, these are kind of small traditionals, not teeny weeny, but kind of like, um, let's see, Weather Girl was a little on the, on the, on the smaller side. So I'm gonna grab a, a model to compare these two to, but I wanna show them to you together as a pair, as a mirror and full, cause they're so cute, beautiful. And you can see um, the, just the, the, the lovely curve on, on this mare, uh, the, she twists all the way through her, her torso. I really like that, it's very expressive, very correct. And the hind end <laughs> reminds me a lot of the Briar Mawari, which was also sculpted by Bridget Everill, so that makes sense. So give me just a sec, I'm gonna go grab another model to compare si size wise with these guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my trusty, dusty Briar Proud Arabian Stallion. And I'll just show these horses next to him for you. We'll start with the mare. I, I don't want any of these guys to accidentally get knocked over. So we'll just start with the two of them. This table isn't um, perfectly flat, so it makes me kind of nervous. Okay. Well, I guess I'll show them to you like this first. You can see... Um, She's quite a bit smaller than the Proud Arabian Stallion. Um, definitely you can see um, it in the head height. Um, the next thing I want to check is um, what the actual um, height on the back comes to between these two. So here's the other side of them as a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, and I will give you a front view. there and then just because I can I'll give you a rear view and maybe I'll even grab a full to compare the full to okay so you can see the Proud Arabian Stallion is quite a bit bigger he's um, bigger um, at his back now the mare is uh, collected so her rump slopes down um, and she's going a bit, um, I guess you, you would call it downhill, uphill, I don't know. Her shoulders are above her haunches. So she's not standing um, flat like the Proud Arabian Stallion whose haunches and shoulders are level. But she's still quite a bit smaller than the Proud Arabian Stallion. I'll put her right there next to him so you can hopefully just, and what, what I wanted to show you was the back height here and I, I think you can probably see that because I can see it. And I know you can't see um, the whole horse here, but I, I just wanted to make sure that you could get a view of the back height. Okay, so now I'll grab the foal. Um, this guy seems to be um, similar in size to the um, core zone. So obviously he's a foal, he's smaller, um, but this is what he looks like next to the Proud Demon Stallion. And let me grab a foal from my shelf, so I will be right back. And I will take Mr. Proud Demon Stallion back with me. Okay, so here we have the Briar Family Arabian Foal. And I'll go ahead and put him next to the new look that's on our foal. Um, 
Now here, I am seeing much less of a size difference uh, as compared to the Proud Arabian Stallion and the Mare. So the foal is, um, seems to be um, well lighter in type. His actual height uh, is much more similar to the family Arabian foal. He's also standing very upright. You can see it in, in his shoulders. Um, he's quite a bit uh, thinner. Uh, he's more refined than the Prader, or the sorry, the family Arabian foal. Um, so you can see that through the chest, and probably the rump. And then I'll give you a top-down view. He's much um, skinnier um, from side to side, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So, this is him next to the family Arabian foal. Again, his head is more upright, so his ears actually end up being a bit taller than the family Arabian foal. His body, again, is much lighter in type. Um, I think if you put them side by side, um, because of how he is standing, his rump, uh, his withers, and his back are actually higher than the family Arabian foal. So, um, yeah. This is Karina and Celine. I'm going to put the foal back and let you just look at them for a minute. So I am actually super picky about condition, um, but I don't expect perfection from Briar, not on a mass produced um, model like these are. Uh, so I don't, I don't think I'll exchange these for, like the only real flaw that kind of bugs me is the spot on, on the top of her room and her dock, but it's uh, minor enough that I, I won't exchange them because I, I don't know what I'll get in exchange and it seems pretty minor. So again, this is the 2017 Premier Club model, um, Celine and Karina. And this is the last um, Premier Club model of the year. Thanks for watching.